In this country, another superstar athlete is facing a new round of troubles. The Justice Department has joined a lawsuit against disgraced cycling champion Lance Armstrong over his now admitted use of drugs while he was on the Postal Service's racing team. CBS News Justice correspondent Bob Orr has the details. The Justice Department alleges Lance Armstrong violated his sponsorship deal with the U.S. Postal Service by using banned performance-enhancing drugs in winning seven Tour de France titles. The Postal Service paid $31 million to sponsor Armstrong's cycling team, and now the government wants that money back and could seek total damages approaching $100 million. The lawsuit, first filed by Armstrong's former teammate Floyd Landis in 2010, claims the team regularly used banned substances and methods to enhance their performance. Armstrong denied it at the time. And he's got no proof. It's, it's his word versus ours. But in 2011, Another teammate, Tyler Hamilton, told 60 Minutes he saw Armstrong take banned substances, including the blood doping agent EPO. He took what we all took. Really no difference between Lance Armstrong and, I'd say, the, the majority of the peloton, you know. There was EPO, there was testosterone, uh, so, and I did see a transfusion, a blood transfusion. Last month, in an interview with Oprah Winfrey, Armstrong admitted doping. I view this situation as um, one big lie that I repeated a lot of times. And, and it, as you said, it wasn't as, as if I just said no and I moved off it. Armstrong's lawyers say the lawsuit is without merit since the Postal Service actually profited from Armstrong's victories. But the Justice Department rejected Armstrong's bid to settle the case and seems intent now on extracting major penalties. For CBS This Morning Saturday, I'm Bob Orr in Washington.